Feeling anxious about the ocean is something that most people have done at some point. Most of the time, that feeling is tied to the fact that we simply don't know what lurks in the dark depths of the deepest parts of the ocean. For that reason alone, it's easy for the imagination to run wild. For centuries, sailors have spoken about huge monsters that lurk in the ocean. And sometimes, whatever lurks beneath the surface might collide with whatever is above the surface. Every single time this happens, there have been attempts to link the alleged creature to one that we do know exists, with varying results. Stories of creatures like the Kraken have existed for centuries. For a long time, these stories were believed to be just stories. Stories told by wary sailors who mistook something ordinary out at sea for a big, mysterious monster. At least that was until 1857 when Japetus Steenstrup examined a large squid beak that had washed up on Denmark's shores several years earlier. From his studies of this beak, Steenstrup would conclude that the kraken was indeed a real creature. The giant squid. Or in some cases perhaps even the colossal squid. Today, most people seem to agree that the Kraken is based on this very real but very elusive creature. Which meant that many of the stories about ships being attacked by a Kraken are now looked at in a different light. Especially when you consider that a colossal squid is also said to have attacked a US Navy frigate in 1978 in what's been dubbed the USS Stein incident. The USS Stein was a Knox-class destroyer escort, which was later redesigned as a frigate of the United States Navy. The ship got its name USS Stein after Tony Stein, who was the first Marine to receive the Medal of Honor for action in the Battle of Iwo Jima. The USS Stein was commissioned on January 8, 1972, and she would be decommissioned after two decades of service on March 19, 1992. She would undertake many special operations and was out on another one of those operations in 1978 when the incident that earned the frigate worldwide attention would take place. During its voyage, the anti-submarine sonar gear suddenly stopped working, which forced the ship to immediately return to port. Once the ship was in dry dock, the underwater sonar dome would be examined and what they found surprised them. We noticed that there were some, some uh, quite long scratches starting from the uh, front and the side and down underneath the dome itself. The rubber no-foul coating of the dome was shredded with large cuts covering around 8% of the surface. Within the deepest of these cuts, there were large curved hooks that looked like the kind of hooks found within the suction cups of a large squid. After a few days of maintenance, the sonar would be repaired and the ship was sent back out to continue its mission. The hooks that had been collected would then be sent out for analysis. Navy biologist F.G. Wood was called to inspect the no-foul coating. In many of these cuts were found teeth or claws, such as this one. And it's apparent that whatever did this damage grasped the dome and ripped all the way through this rubber covering to the metal below. He would conclude that the culprit was a massive squid, but he didn't rule out that the culprit could have been something that hadn't yet been found in the ocean in 1978.
So, what attacked the USS Stein? Two suspects are often connected to this incident, the giant squid and the colossal squid. They are certainly big enough. There have been reports of giant squids exceeding 59 feet or 18 meters in total length, and scientists believe that the giant squid could reach lengths up to 66 feet or 20 meters in length. But a real-life giant squid of this size has never been documented. The largest specimen that have been examined was roughly 43 feet or 13 meters and may have weighed nearly a ton. And yet, scientists believe that the giant squid could be even bigger. But despite it being big enough, the giant squid does not have hooks like the ones found in the rubber. The colossal squid, however, does possess rotating hooks on all of its eight arms and two tentacles. And it's also big enough, as the colossal squid is estimated to grow up to 45 feet or 14 meters in length, and it can weigh over 1,091 pounds. Given that many sperm whales have scars on their backs, which are believed to be caused by the hooks of colossal squid, most people have concluded that it's this elusive creature that attacked the sonar of the USS Stein. The colossal squid is known to inhabit north of Antarctica, southern South America, southern South Africa, and the southern tip of New Zealand. From what I could find, the incident with the USS Stein happened in the Pacific Ocean. So, while the location isn't exactly within the known range of the colossal squid, it's not impossible that one found itself in that area. Because, just like the oarfish, it's believed that the colossal squid and the giant squid only come to the surface when they are injured, sick, or dying. An example of this happened in 2017 when a paddleboarder named James Taylor had an encounter with a giant squid about 20 miles north of Cape Town. The giant squid was already injured and Taylor noted that the squid appeared very lethargic. It was missing several tentacles and it was covered in bite marks. Feeling like the animal was already on death's door, he decided to haul it ashore for research purposes. By the time they got to the beach, the creature was no longer moving and Taylor felt that the most humane thing to do at that point was to put it out of its misery. So they severed its head. They then dissected the creature, took photos and videos that they sent to the local aquarium, who in turn sent these to a professor who had been studying giant squid in South Africa for the past 15 years at that point. Like I've said, both the giant squid and the colossal squid are very elusive creatures. Until 2005, the giant squid had never been captured alive. And it wouldn't be until the following year, in 2006, that the creature would be filmed alive for the first time ever. The colossal squid is also very rarely captured, with a total of only eight adult colossal squid having been reported with six of those being remains that were recovered from the stomach of sperm whales. So with all of that in mind, it seems entirely possible that a sick or injured colossal squid was far away from its known range, was moving towards the surface, came across the sonar of the USS Stein, and attacked it, perhaps thinking that it was food. There are all those who believe that the culprit wasn't a colossal squid at all, arguing that the size of the USS Stein's attacker was wildly exaggerated, which means that you have to disbelieve the account by Petty Officer Ira Carpenter, who said that the largest cut appeared to be four feet long. And people would argue that the hooks that were recovered and the rubber coating that we were shown didn't appear to be large enough to cause a four feet long cut. So, some have proposed that the hooked squid is a possible attacker of the USS Stein. 
The hooked squid gets its name from the hooks present on the tentacular clubs, and it's supposedly found worldwide. The definition of a cryptid is an animal or a creature that has been claimed to exist but has never been proven to exist. For centuries, the kraken fell into that category, a creature that people claimed existed but that no one could prove existed. Not until proof was found of a creature that could be the legendary kraken. Because of the mystery of the attacker, the USS Stein incident is considered by most to be a possible cryptid encounter. However, most seem to agree that the USS Stein was attacked by a squid. Where they disagree is what kind of squid. Even though we know that the colossal squid and the giant squid are animals that do in fact exist, not to mention all of the stories of the Kraken, there are those who still don't believe that a colossal squid could be responsible for this attack. It seems to be divided up into two different camps. One side saying that it had to have been some other type of known squid, such as the hooked squid, and the other side arguing that the attacker must have been a much, much larger creature, especially considering the description of one of the cuts being four feet long, which doesn't really match size-wise to a colossal squid. This side will argue that there has to be another, even bigger squid that is lurking in the depths that we have yet to find. What do you think? Do you think it was a colossal squid? Or do you think it was any other type of squid? Do you think it's possible that there is an even bigger type of squid hiding in the depths of the oceans that we still don't know about? One even more elusive than the giant and the colossal squid. Thank you.